the day dawned bright and beautiful to all seated here and I wholeheartedly wish may the rest of your day be good, prosperous and successful. Amen. O oh my Lord, bless me with knowledge. O oh my Lord, make me brave and make today's path easy for me and remove the impediment from my speech so that they all may understand what I say. Amen. Dear friends, let us get enlightened about a very important topic which happens to be a part of pre-university curriculum, graduation curriculum and also in the post-graduation curriculum of management schools. And the topic is, is management, a science or art or both. I feel it relevant to touch each area separately for better understanding. To begin with, is management a science? Science can be classified into two types. One is exact science and the other is behavioral science or social science. Exact science refers to those areas of physics, chemistry, biology which is universally accepted and cannot be denied because these all undergo lab tests and experiments. For instance, if I throw this chalk in the air, what will happen? Come down. It will come down. There may be a fanatic. A fanatic is a person who doesn't agree on what you say and doesn't change the topic. He may say, no, no, if you throw the chalk, it may go sideways. At that point, we can humbly request him and tell, Dear sir, please try, please experiment, please test and throw the chalk in the air. And the outcome will be, for sure, the chalk will come down and never go sideways, whether it is in India or in America. Likewise, there are many concepts in management which comes under exact science. For instance, if you draw the 14 principles of management of Henry Foyle. The, there are few principles like unity of command, unity of direction. If the direction is from one manager or one leader, the result would be best. However, on the contrary, if the direction is from two managers or two leaders, the followers may be confused whom to follow, what to do and what not to do and may end up in chaos. So, it can be primarily concluded that yes, management is a science and it draws many concepts from exact science. Now, we will go on to the next area. Management is a science, a behavioral science or social science. Management draws its discipline from other areas such as psychology, anthropology, sociology. For instance, if you draw again the example of Henry Foyle, 14 principles of management, in that one example is fair remuneration. Today we have witnessed that even the best of the companies who pay the best of salaries, they are unable to hold the talent, meaning the employees are quitting their organization. It is for the reason the most difficult thing to do on this earth is to predict human behavior. That is the reason few concepts in management come under behavioral science or social science. Thus it can be concluded that yes, management is a science. Now we move on to the art area. Art are of various types. Fine arts. Drawing, painting, etc. Martial arts. Karate, Kung Fu, Judo. But the art, one of the smallest definition of management is management is an art of getting things done. Here art refers to the skill, ability, talent or the knack to get the things done with the help of science. Okay? So thus it can be primarily concluded that yes, Management is an art. Now we move on to 
justify or substantiate whether management is both. Even the most difficult topics on the earth can be best understood with the drawings and examples. I would like to put few examples. Example number one is how does a doctor manage to perform a surgery or an operation? He uses both science as well as an art. The science for the doctor is the equipments, medicines, scissors, etc. And the art is how does he perform the surgery? And how much he has to cut open, and how much he has to switch it back, etc. Example number two, how does an acrobat, an acrobat refers to a person who does you know, gymnastics, one such person refers to the tightrope walker. Now the tightrope walker is a person who walks on the road. Even he manages to do so with the help of both science as well as an art. The science for the tightrope walker is the pole or the bamboo. And the art is how does he balance to walk on the road. And the third example which I may give, may surprise many of you. Even the first human being on the earth, now I am referring to Adam, peace be upon him. As per Bible, first book of Genesis and the 20th chapter of the glorious Quran, it states that when God told Adam and Eve to not to eat the forbidden fruit, when they ate, the first thing what happened to them was they realized their shame. And the first thing what they did was they managed. They managed to cover their shape. And even Adam and Eve, they used both science as well as an art. The science for them was the plants and the leaf through which you know, they used to cover their shape. And the art was how did they knit it? How did they ensure that it didn't fell down? Therefore, it can be concluded that yes, management is both science as well as an art. And here, one more point I would like to emphasize is management will be handicapped if you do not use science. Likewise, management will be further handicapped if you only use art without science. So therefore, it can be again concluded that management results will be best when both science and art is incorporated. Now, I welcome the intellectual students to kindly post questions if any or seek clarifications if any on the subject and I would also appreciate and encourage if you also make some value addition which may help each one of us for better understanding. Yes, any of you? Yes.